regional map. Oh, dude, that switch looks like my switch. Just, just kind of classic gray. I don't need anything crazy. Although that, that poster of Eevee looks like it's from <laughs> this kid's childhood. Oof. Got that in some book fair at school. Won it. Just, you know, it's the price he took home and at, let's say, eight, eight years old, just stoked. Could not be happier about that. This is a really pretty game. I mean, for it being, like, some of these set pieces are just really nice. All right. So I'm going to not read a whole lot of this stuff because the beginning intro just takes a minute in these later games, which, guys, I, listen, we're playing this game to start catching some Pokemon. I realize there's some story you need to set up, but, woof, 30 minutes to get started or some nonsense. I think it's a little better in this game, actually, but, anyways, we're doing a Nuzlocke, but since Sword and Shield is notoriously pretty easy, we are going to do it as if, or as, a Pokemon trainer. Oh my god. A bug Pokemon trainer. Thanks, brain. Just just really put that out there. Anyways. So, there's not a whole lot I can do about the starting Pokemon choices, but we are picking one, and on Route 1, there are at least three bug Pokemon that I can random into. Um... And that will be my first starting Pokemon. Uh, this starter will just live in the PC or faint, and we will never talk of it again. And since we are playing for bugs, I am going to pick Grookey, our little grass Pokemon. Our little Grassmon friend. And his little name is going to be Bait, because... Bugs are better than earth butter. <laughs> Bugs are super effective against grass. Picking grass, luring out a bug. His name is Bait. Maybe Bait dies. Maybe Bait survives. Who knows? Alrighty, so we're going to be doing a Nuzlocke in Sword and Shield. I'm going to be doing it as a bug Pokemon trainer. Only bugs. That's really the only additional rule that I'm adding. All the other Nuzlocke rules apply. So, to run down the list, and we will get to the exceptions, because every Pokemon game has exceptions. Um, first rule is name all your Pokemon, because they are your delightful little friends, and we love them. Two is you can only catch the first Pokemon in any route. Mine will change a bit because I'm sticking to a specific type of Pokemon, but we'll get to that in a second. And three is if it faints, it has died. And you get rid of it or put it in the PC in whatever cleverly named death box you would like. So, those are essentially it. My additional rules are going to be I am only going to be using bug Pokemon because, hell, I'm... This region is drastically lacking in a bug Pokemon trainer, gym, or champion. And there are some pretty awesome bugs in this region. Plus, you get a bunch of the old ones, too. So, we are going to just give that a shot and see how far we can go. And yes, I realize some gyms are going to be fantastically easy with that, and some of them are going to be ridiculously uphill. But, you know, that's what the challenge is, isn't it? So... My exceptions to the one Pokemon on each, or first Pokemon on each route rule, because I am only picking bugs, or I can only use bugs. First off, I am absolutely allowed to go after overworld Pokemon, especially if it's a bug, because it will just narrow down how long I have to run around and random into things. Um, some routes will not have bug Pokemon on them, in which case, I just don't get to catch anything. Um, or, depending on how, how bad I'm doing, I will probably catch something on those routes, and potentially we'll see what my friends say. Maybe I turn in, like, I don't know, five or ten other Pokemon, re-catch one, or re-catch a Pokemon, re go get another bug, whatever it is. We'll 
figure out how many routes don't have bugs and see what seems fair. Or, you're probably just going to see me get a lot of duplicates. Um, should a route have nothing but duplicate bugs, I am within my right or within the duplicate clause in most games and other uh, Nuzlocke games to just kind of pick the one I want. Uh, that being said, I might end up with a couple repeats because, let's face it, they're bugs and uh, they get squished sometimes. Otherwise, uh, as far as the dens go, I'm still going to be working on that. I'm thinking maybe after every gym I'm allowed a den, especially since I'll be able to go into higher areas in the wild, uh, in the wild areas. And again, there's only so many bugs to catch in those dens, but who knows? We'll figure out what we'll figure out what help I need and what I have to uh, I don't know ritualistically sacrifice to the Pokemon gods, Arceus, and uh, see what I can get. But right now we are picking our starter, and like I said, I'm gonna go get little little grassy Grookey. He's gonna poke things with a stick. Yep, grass type. Yep, we're taking Grookey. He's super stoked. I chose Grookey. Yep. And like I said, we gotta nickname him. Little little Grookster here. His name is Bait. And your job is to get me a bug Pokemon, buddy. Oh, you don't know what you're in store for. You're super stoked. So, Hop is gonna get Sobble, a delightful little little sea alamander friend, which is perfectly fine. Shouldn't be anything too crazy later game. Water's not going to be too ridiculous against most of the bugs we fight. Leon, however, is going to be a little bit tougher. He is going to have two really good fire Pokemon. Charizard in particular, being fire flying, is also going to be kind of miserable. But, we're already kind of planning what to have available for that. And I need something with, like, what, a rock move? Just boop him on the head. A rock toss. I love how Hop has two of these giant skewers. And most times, like, the little, like, skewers you get at the store have, like, little chunks of meat. He's got, like, full hot dogs on those things. Like, I think if we go back, he had, like, six hot dogs. Just loaded up. Oh, goodness. Alright, so, we're at, like... 10 plus minutes in, everybody's telling us about he's the champion, he's got all these sponsors, which honestly he doesn't need. You get quite a bit of money just whooping other trainers. But, alright, he's asking us to have be our rival. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Yep, I'll be Hop's rival. Yep, we'll get stronger. I'll get stronger. You're gonna, you're gonna do what you can do. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, you have so much hair under that hat. Yep, 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 Pokedexes, everything else. And, yes, I understand, thank you guys, and, yep, thank you. Oh goodness, all right. So, Crash, oof, that's what we're talking about. I'm supposed to go talk to Mom, which, again, is I mean, I guess that happens in every Pokemon game. Here's your wild animal. Go out in the world and get stronger and be super cool. Maybe go tell your mom about it. Just just so she knows what's going on. Just go tell your mom. Let's go save it. I wish if you said no, then she just didn't have to worry about it. But that's not the Pokemon trainer we are. We care about all of them, even if some of them aren't awesome, amazing bug Pokemon. Alright. We're just going to get through all of this. <laughs> so, like you've so just seen, we saved the sheep. We're going to go talk to Mom about adventuring. Going off into the world. Hi oh. Tum tum. Aw, little Grookey's fun. Little bait. 
Thanks, Mom. A little bit of pocket money. 30 fucking grand. Give you so much money in this game. Go play, like, blue and you end up with, like, 500 Pokebucks or whatever. However you want to say it. We're out. I might be missing an item. I don't... I don't care. They do look really good, though. These games do start looking really nice. Alrighty, so... Let's see, Pokemon, we got little bait. We're not gonna even look at what you do because you won't be around for very long. Bag, we have our potion, we have Pokeballs. So the Nuzlocke has started. Adventure guide, fishing rod, armor pass, crown pass. I might be going to those two. Hmm, we'll figure something out with those. No, I don't, no, we're not using any of that, sorry. All right, mystery gift, maybe we'll check that next episode. All right, little hop. Route one. First step in becoming a champion. Good train up that. Tall grass. Go to the one building that stands out. Can you spot where the protagonist lives? I'll give you a minute. <laughs> All right, route one. Pokeballs. Nuzlocke has started. We are going to officially save this. And that's the last time, well, yeah, that'll be the last time you see Little Bait in our little lineup. Alright, next time, we'll see what we catch. Alright, guys, see you.